This is the Royal Financial Investment Group. As always, this is your host, Prince Dykes here, Investment Advisor Representative. Get straight into the video. Today's video is going to be mutual funds versus ETFs. But before I get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, leave some feedback. Let me know you guys' thoughts, all of the good stuff. Um, but I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So let's get straight into it. Mutual funds versus ETF with E-Trade. Here I have two different slides pulled up. On one slide, on one side I have mutual funds, which you're looking at right now, and on another slide I have ETFs. Right. So how do you get to this? So if you have an E-Trade account, you're going to go to Research, you're going to see Products, and you're going to see ETFs. If you want a mutual funds, you go to Research, Products, and you go to Mutual Funds. So that's how you can pull that up to research, right? So the first thing, what is the difference between a mutual fund and an ETF? A mutual fund has a fund manager. Essentially, a bunch of people get together, they give their money to a fund manager, manager, and the manager takes that money and they invest it. Now, that fund manager may tell you, you know, you can look at a description. So, for example, let's pull up the uh, mutual fund. So, here we're looking at mutual fund, right? You have different companies out there like Vanguard, Americans First, all type of companies that also offers mutual funds. So, we're going to look at all the families. Let's look at all the groups. I'm just throwing in some stuff here. Bear market. You can look at a mutual fund. You can tell you want it. Uh, commodities, you know, domestic equities, international equities, precious metals, long-term equities. So we're just going to put something in so we can just look at one. And as you're clicking on things over here, you are narrowing down what you want. You can narrow it down and say, hey, I want something that has performed above average in the last 20 days or 30 days or 40 days or whatever, three months where it's really going by. Um, the next thing we're going to do, we'll click off of that, expense ratio. We're going to get into that as well but let's look at a mutual fund real quick so when you look at a mutual fund you may say hey i don't know how this mutual fund is uh set up so we're just going to look at one real quick and uh so you can tell how how you can tell your money has been invested so i just have pulled up a random mutual fund right so you can go down here and it will tell you what this fund is pretty much going to invest in right now, if I can get it highlight perfectly bam right here you're gonna look right at it the investment seeks long-term capital appreciation right and you can keep reading it also you have Morningstar rating which gives you a rating of uh, different groups out there that are rated and tell how it is how they you know people giving their opinions on it and stuff like that another thing you can look at and the net expense ratio this is how you're gonna tell how much does it cost this is how you can look at it and compare fees and stuff like that. Now, before we jump straight into it, not before we jump too deep into it, that's how you can tell the fund manager is going to take your money and they're going to invest it accordingly, right? Now, what ETF does, we're going to go back and look at an ETF. I can think of an ETF off the top of my head, which I think is DIA. So now, how an ETF does is what it does is it just tracks things where this tracking gold whether it's tracking the Dow Jones S&P 500 the Nasdaq the dollar it just tracks things you just like hey you just put your money in and it just tracks so it has a lower expense fee because when your money is put in there it's just tracking something right versus a mutual fund what I just told you, you you put all your money give it to a fund manager and that fund manager invested it invested accordingly like we just read on the other stream that said that hey he's going to go for a long-term capital right and they usually try to beat the s p 500 so it's more actively managed because someone has to buy and sell and money and manage the funds versus the etf just sits back and it just tracks the cool part about the etf is like hey you can just put your money into the dow jones and it gains a little dividend mutual funds gain dividends as well but um it gains a dividend you just put your money back and it attracts so etfs usually are cheaper when it comes down to expenses because they don't have it, it don't, it's not actively managed, right? Versus a mutual fund. Also on top of that, when it comes down to taxes, I know I was asked that question, what about the taxes? The taxes, ETFs are more tax friendly than mutual funds because a mutual fund, every time someone buys and sells within two, with inside that mutual fund, it can, it can gain capital gain tax, essentially. Versus an ETF, an ETF trades like a stock. You can buy it today. For example, you go here, you can buy it, and once you buy it, you can sell it when the market is closed right now. When the market is open, you can sell it to someone else just like a stock. Versus a mutual fund, once you buy it, you have to hold it for a certain amount of time, right? You have to sold, not hold it for a certain amount of time, but you can't sell it until 
um, you can't sell it until you have a an, until the end of the market. Pretty much, you have to wait till the market closes every day before you know you can buy and sell. You can't trade them like a stock. Like a stock, buy it at one o'clock, sell it at one thirty, things like that. You can't do that with a mutual fund. So, and also, a lot of mutual funds have minimal purchases. You know, like you see, this one says a thousand dollars for this one particular. So, a mutual fund, like we said, it has a fund manager, some ones that take all your money and they invest it a certain type of way, which is you know they do things as far as gold, commodities, and all of the good stuff, like we saw. Um, if you want to purchase one, it's pretty simple and easy. You go here to products, you go to mutual funds, and when you go to mutual funds, you kind of tell them what you want. If you have a fund family in particular you want to look at, you can look at it, right? So, where we are we at? Vanguard is a big one, uh, number one mutual fund company in the world. And you can look at what type of groups you want domestic equity, or you can go to taxable bond, that municipals, yeah, have municipals in here too, life cycles. A life well I'm not going to get into what things are in detail but you select what you want you can target it down hey I want something for retirement in a life cycle you can say whatever you want as far as this you want to look at the morning star ratings you can say hey I want to look at things that have a you know four percent of one not a four, a four star rating or a five star rating and you can view it but what we just typed in is only one match and once you find your match you can look at it and you can say, hey, you know what, I like that. And you hit the buy button. And it's that simple and easy. Exact same thing. This is mutual funds over here. And let's say you're like, okay, yeah, this is what I wanted. Targeted income. And you hit the buy button. And when you go to the buy button, it's going to say, like, this one right here is an IRA minimum requirement of $1,000. So you go in, you put your investment amount, and you hit preview, and you buy it. If you want an ETF, like we're looking at the Dow Jones, this is DIA. You're looking at this, this is the ETF that tracks the Dow Jones. And it'll tell you right down here, the strategy. What it seeks to do, get the strategy. And also you can look at, okay, let's see how I performed over the last year, three years, five years, 10 years. You can get the performance right here at the bottom. You can see what it does. Hey, I can collect the dividend. I'm gonna just throw a grand in there. Hit the buy button, right? You hit the buy button, it's selling just like a stock. Put in how many you want. You can put a, I have a video on this with a different price types. So if you put it in that market, good for the day, hit preview order, and you're done. So that's in between uh, mutual funds and ETFs and how to purchase them with E Trade. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all the other good stuff, and leave me some of your thoughts. Got any questions? Drop comments below. Until the next video, you guys be safe.